How to start a company. Limited liability companies. Before forming a company, it is important that you understand what each type of company is and how it will impact your business model. Limited liability companies. This form of company, like the name suggests, has the benefit of limiting the liability of its shareholders and directors. Furthermore, it is its own separate legal identity and is treated as such for entering into contracts. It can also own its own property. Forming a company. To form this company, you'll need to fill out an IN01 form, which must include details such as the company name, details of the registered office, details of directors, and a statement of capital and initial shareholding, which will be talked about more later. The members of the company must sign their names to a memorandum of association, which is referenced in sections 9 to 13 of the Companies Act 2006. This is a simple document that states share limits and other details about the company. Additionally, a fee of £12 must be paid to incorporate the company, if you choose to do this online, or a fee of £40 if you choose to do this process through the post. Articles of Association This document will provide the core responsibilities of all the members within the company. They will function as the constitution for the company. There are model articles that can be used to either fill in the gaps of your own articles or to fully form them, depending on what you would like to do with your company. These will be used to judge the legal limits of the company's actions and all members of the company must agree to them. This can help with directors acting out with their abilities and other company disputes. Directors. There should be at least one director in the company. They will help with the general everyday running of the company and are responsible for keeping company records, reporting changes, filing the company's accounts, paying taxes and informing shareholders if the director personally will benefit from any transaction. Directors also make key company decisions. Shares. To provide information regarding your shares, you must have a statement of capital and initial shareholding. This will contain the number of shares held by the company at the time of registration, the aggregate nominal value of those shares, details of the rights attached to those shares, and the number of any amount to be unpaid on each share.